So we're here at the example table, and in this video we're going to look at the derivatives of polynomials. So polynomials are a great place to start because they involve all the basic differentiation rules. So for example, f plus g and f minus g, where f and g are both functions. Also, c times f, where c is a constant, c alone, and x to the n. So the derivatives of f plus g and f minus g are just what you'd want them to be. You differentiate each part um, separately. Derivative of a product of a constant and a function is also just what you would want it to be. It's the, derivative, it's the constant times the derivative of the function. Derivative of a constant is 0. And this one is the only interesting one here, uh, the derivative of x to the n, which is the power rule, and we'll talk about that in a moment. So let's start with an example. So f of x equals 5. If f of x equals 5, then the derivative of x is 0. Right? The derivative of a constant is 0. And this is easy to see if you think of the derivative as the slope of a function. A constant function is a horizontal line, and the slope is 0 everywhere. So the derivative must be 0 everywhere also. What if f of x is equal to 5x? Well, then f prime of x is just 5. And this is also easy to see if you think of this, think of the derivative again as slope, because 5x is a line with slope 5. Slope 5 everywhere, so f prime of x is going to be 5 everywhere. Let's look at one more example along these lines. So now let's set f of x equal to 5x cubed. Now we're going to involve the power rule. So the power rule says that to find the derivative of x cubed, the 3 comes down out front, so you have 3 times x, and then in the exponent you subtract 1. So 3 times the quantity x to the 3 minus 1. But of course, we can't forget the 5. So the 5 is sitting here out front. So this simplifies to 15x squared. And that's about it. All polynomials are going to be various combinations of what you just saw. So let's look at two examples. First, let's let f of x equal 7x to the fourth minus 3x squared plus 1. So then f prime of x is what? Well, let's start with the 7x to the fourth. When we differentiate, let's forget about the 7 for a moment, when we differentiate x to the fourth, the fourth comes down out front and the 7 stays around. So just like here we had 5 times 3, here we're going to have 7 times 4. So we get 28, and then x to the 4 minus 1. Right? Just like we had x cubed became x to the 3 minus 1, here we have x to the 4 minus 1, which I'll just write as 3. Minus, now what happens here? Forget about the 3 for the moment. The derivative of x squared, the 2 comes down out front, so we have 2 times 3, which is 6, times x to the 2 minus 1 power, which is just 1 which I won't write at all. And then plus the derivative of 1, but rem remember, 1 is a constant, so the derivative is 0. So that's it. The derivative of f is 28x cubed minus 6x. Let's do one more example. Let's say f of x is negative 3x to the fourth plus 7x squared minus 5x plus 9. Then f prime of x is going to be what? Well, just like before, we'll differentiate this term by term. So negative 3 times x to the fourth. When we differentiate x to the fourth, we end up with 4x cubed. So that 4 out front multiplies by negative 3, and we get negative 12. 
Right, so negative 12x cubed. What about the derivative of 7x squared? So forget about the 7 for the moment. x squared, the 2 comes out front. We get 2x to the 2 minus 1, which is just 2x. So when we have the 7, we get 7 times 2, which is 14, times x to the first power. Right? This 2 minus 1 is just 1. Now minus, what's the, what's the derivative of 5x? Well, we saw that before. That's just 5. And the derivative of 9, 9 is a constant, so it disappears altogether. So f prime is negative 12x cubed plus 14x minus 5. And that's how you differentiate a polynomial.